So trends in uh, producing lightweight castings and, and electrification is, is proving uh, quite a challenge to us. Uh, for automobiles, the electrification and the use of lightweight materials is considerable. Um, but there are opportunities for iron foundries to produce iron castings. Uh, we currently produce the front and rear differential for the new Jaguar I-Pace is a complex iron casting. But they needed a, a casting which had got strength and integrity and aluminium wouldn't suit the purpose. So to believe that there will be no iron castings in the future is probably misguided. Um, the challenge is definitely greater for automobile castings. Um, however, our company is more aligned with truck production, um, where there is some pressure towards light weighting of castings, uh, but there is also um, a need to have parts which are very strong. Although lightweight materials can replace a number of components, uh, for example, um, suspension components, there are other components on the truck which are currently made in steel that can be made in ADI cast iron, which has the same strength properties as steel, but is around 10% lighter. So th although there are, there are um, opportunities being taken away from us, there are other opportunities being presented. We are currently in the process of making some prototypes for a new electric truck engine, which is a, a new development for us. We are only just at the start of our journey into Industry 4. Uh, and at the moment, with Procast, we make a number of assumptions about what is actually happening in the process. We don't know exactly what is happening. And the, the benefit of Industry 4 is we're collecting so much more information now, um, and we can use this information to more accurately calibrate our simulations. And we will use this work in the future to make parts of better quality and more consistent quality. It's difficult to see where the future will take us as a company. Uh, we always have to innovate our products and over the 20 years or so that I've worked with the company we have evolved and we've had to differentiate our product and make ever more complex parts. We can see that differentiation and evolution is going to continue. Um, in conjunction with our work with ESI, and what I think will be playing also an, a major part in the development of our parts will be topological optimization, where we look very closely and it, with the customer um, at the design of products and, and look to evolve and design a product which gets the maximum out of the materials that we've got. Yes, our materials that we use aren't the lightest in the world, they never will be. However, they have got very good strength and they've got very good uh, vibration absorption. So that it means that there are materials and there are uses for our materials um, to make products uh, suitable for the future.